So recently, I made a video on how to get rich from the biotech sector. And I talked about a revolutionary technology. Some of you mentioned that it's a promotion of our courses. So here I am with the next video in the series to tell you that it was not just a promotion of our course, but in this video, I'm going to give you a proof. Okay. Now the proof is going to open your eyes. This video is all about top 10 biotech billionaires with their net worth and how exactly they made money. Now, first things first, I will start this video with a story. And this is my personal story with my mentor. I went and asked, how can I make money in this industry? And he told me a very important critical task. He said, you have to analyze the people who are successful and reverse engineer them. Reverse engineer the success of successful people. That's how, that's a foolproof, that's a sure shot way of achieving success. So in this video, I'm going to tell you 10 biotech billionaires and how exactly they made billions of dollars. Once you have understood that, you will be ready to reverse engineer it and you yourself can become rich. Now, it is not all about developing complicated product. Biotech is all about simplifying human life. So if you are able to simplify human life with a simple product, you probably don't need a difficult and complicated product and you can still make billions of dollars. So today we will start with first the list. Now, number one person in my list from in this list will be Patrick Soon Xiong. Now, Patrick Soon Xiong, his net worth is approximately $7.5 billion. And Soon Xiong made his fortune in biotechnology through the development of a cancer drug. The name of the drug is Abraxane. Now, he sold his companies Abraxis Biosciences and American Pharmaceutical Partners for billions of dollars. And this significantly increased his net worth. So what did we learn here? He developed a product which simplifies human life and increases its longevity. It solves a problem, which is cancer. And that's how he made billions of dollars. Now let's go to the second person in this list. Now the second person in this list is Thomas Frist and his family. So Thomas Frist Jr. and his family, the net worth is around 17.6 billion. So it's not only him, his family also. And then not exclusively biotech entrepreneurs, they are into multiple things, but biotech is also a part of their uh, portfolio. So their wealth comes from HCA Healthcare, which operates hospitals and healthcare facilities, benefiting the indirectly or directly from the bi biopharmaceutical and biotech industry. Now, apart from that, you also have two investors whom I will talk about a little later, but these are the top two. The third one in the list will be Dilip Sangvi from Sun Pharmaceuticals. Now, his net worth is around $7.1 billion and he founded Sun Pharmaceuticals, the fifth largest speciality generic pharmaceutical in, uh, company worldwide and number one biopharmaceutical company in India. And his wealth stems from the extensive development of generic drugs, including those which are relevant to the biotech industry also. So what do you see in the top three? They all have done something in the pharmaceutical space. So biotech billionaires are making billions of dollars using pharmaceuticals. Yes, that's the lesson number one. Next on the list will be Lee Zitting and his net worth is $12.6 billion. And he co-founded Mindray Medical International, China's largest medical equipment manufacturer. Also delves into biotechnology devices and it uses various biomedical devices it is developing. So that is one aspect. You either develop a drug or you develop a cheaper version of the drug or you develop biomedical devices. So far we have learned these three lessons. Next on the list will be Leonard Sheffer and his net worth is around $2.5 billion. He co-founded Regenron Pharmaceuticals, a company known for its innovative drug treat, uh, for treating eye diseases, cancer and other ailments, which obviously simplifies human life. Several successful drug development has happened uh, in the past uh, by Regenron Pharmaceuticals since he holds shares of that. So that is driving his fortune. Again, pharmaceutical. Next on the list is Dr. Kiran Majumdar Shah, our very own biotech entrepreneur from Bangalore. A billionaire with a philanthropic attitude towards science and um, she has done a lot towards the development of biotech sector in India. 
Her net worth is approximately $3.2 billion and she's the founder and chairperson of Biocon Limited, a biotech company, uh, Sinjin and the Biocon Group as a whole. Now, her efforts in developing affordable biomedicine has been pivotal to her financial success. So biotech billionaires are making billions of dollars either by so far what we learned is by developing uh, patented drugs or cheap knock knockoffs or developing the biomedical devices but there is somebody who is doing it even in a better way. So let's look at the next one which is Carl Henson. So Carl Henson net worth is not publicly available but it is estimated to be in billions of dollars. His company's name is Appcelera. Now, his company uses AI to discover antibody-based drugs gaining prominence with its rapid development of the treatment of COVID-19. So, Carl Hansen with his company, Absalra, is doing great and his net worth is not known, but it is estimated to be in billions of dollars. Followed by that, we have Robert Duggan. So, Robert Duggan uh, net worth is around $3.6 billion. He has amassed his wealth primarily through investment into pharma cyclics, which is crucial in developing cancer drugs. Again, it is trying to uh, solve a human problem. Now, this company acquired Abvi. So, this company acquired Abvi and this has boosted his net worth significantly. So, this company, uh, so Robert Duggan, what he's doing is his net worth is 3.6 billion. He's developing products uh, using pharmacyclics and that is very crucial in cancer development and Abvi has been acquired by that. So, that's one company. Now, followed by that, we have Alan Marix. Now, Alan net worth is around $7.6 billion. And it comes from a company called as Biomerix. Now, this Biomerix specializes in diagnostic systems for medical and industrial applications. Now, this company's global reach and innovations in the diagnostic space has created substantial growth and, of course, financial success for Alan Marix. Now, apart from that, now I'll come to two crucial investors in the biotech space, which you should be knowing. Number one is the Roche family. Now, Roche family, uh, the estimated net worth is around $35 billion. And they have a controlling stake in Roche Holding, which is the largest giant pharmaceutical uh, company, a diagnostic company, and their fortune stems out of generations of correct leadership, able leadership, and strategic acquisitions within the company. So what did we see so far? They are either making money through drugs, cheap knockoffs, generics or patented ones, or they are into biomedical, or they are into vaccine development, or they are into solving critical human problems like cancer, or they are into uh, development of various other AI-driven medicines. Now, next, we have one another investor. He His investment is not only into the biotech space, but overall, but he's, a, he's got a sharp mind. He owns the largest tract of agricultural land in US and his name is Bill Gates. Net worth more than $67 billion only in life sciences and he has invested into mega biotech corporations. You name it, he has it. He has been pivotal and crucial in the development of the COVID-19 vaccine through his Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is very active in life sciences. After he you know, retired from Microsoft, he has made significant healthcare and life science investments and his foundations are funding global health initiatives such as uh, removing malaria or removing malnutrition across the globe. So he is one of the biggest investors in the biotech space. Now, followed by that, if I have to now summarize all the biotech investors and biotech entrepreneurs, I would like to tell you this, that if in case you want to make a career in life sciences, why not earn billions? Here is something you should know. These guys have amassed billions of dollars because they were early to the party. Okay, You are late to the party. I am late to the party. These guys were early to the party. 1960s, 70s, 80s. There was no drug. Easily they could you know, discover a drug and they would earn billions of dollars. But the same thing you can do if you are early to the AI ML party. Yes, you heard me right. This party is about to start artificial intelligence and machine learning in drug discovery, artificial intelligence and machine learning in biology. Whether you start a company or not, your demand as a AI ML big data bi biology scientist is going to command you a lot of respect from the fraternity. 
a lot of money you will be able to charge and of course who knows you may start your own biotech company and you don't need to do invest the way these guys have invested so these 10 biotech billionaires invested you know billions of other people money to become billionaires but all you need is a laptop and determination to learn something new and that is what i keep telling you bio it is the new party which is about to start if you jump in you dive in you will sail through the wave and win big dollars for yourself so what are you waiting for join biotechnica's bio it courses which will probably make you a billionaire you can join we will treat, teach you from basics we'll take you to the latest you will get opportunity to publish your paper and also get a work experience and recommendation letter from three of our scientists so here's our your chance our chance to win big and become the biotech billionaires of 2047 remember for that you have to be early to the party of aiml see you there as a aiml researcher all the best take care bye bye